Hi, everyone. Welcome to the next session of Kaplan's USMLE Step 1 Q-Blast. My name is Dr. Matt Alvin. I'm an incoming medical intern going into radiology. Let's do this. So we've got this question. An investigator, you, you're studying virus life cycles, not bacteria, not fungi, viruses. So you, or he, creates a continuous culture of kidney fibroblasts that are suitable hosts for a large variety of viral agents. Notice how I didn't bold most of this stuff because a lot of it is just kind of what's going on here, okay? But you know that we're studying viruses. So in an experiment, the nuclei of these cells, okay, what cells, the kidney fibroblasts, are removed by cytosurgery and various viral agents are added to the cultures. Following culture of the viruses with the enucleated cells, again, no nucleus in these cells, the yield of cytopathic units of virus is quantified. So all that we've got going on here is we put some viruses in with these enucleated cells, and the question wants to know which of the following viruses could be capable of replication in these cells without a nucleus. So this is a great question. It tests your understanding of the different viruses out there. Do you know which ones are DNA, RNA, special characteristics? Let's find out. Here are the answer choices. A, adenovirus, B, cytomegalovirus, C, influenza virus, D, JC virus, or E, poliovirus. Take a few moments and select an answer. Okay, the correct answer is choice E, a poliovirus. So, some key points to take away about the poliovirus. Number one, it's an RNA virus. For every virus in these answer choices, you got to know on test day which ones right off the bat are DNA versus RNA viruses. It's a big takeaway for today. So poliovirus you recognize, it's an RNA virus. Right off the bat, that means we're going to have replication in the cytoplasm. So it should be as simple as that. If you have them down in terms of what are DNA, what are RNA, you'd be able to get this question. The other wrong answer choices are DNA viruses, which we know don't replicate in the cytoplasm, they replicate in the nucleus, or the influenza virus, which you would say, well, wait, Matt, that is an RNA virus, but it replicates in the nucleus. It's the exception. So some high yield takeaways from this question are one, all RNA viruses except orthomyxoviruses, which in our case is influenza, replicate in the cytoplasm. And then two, all DNA viruses require a nucleus to replicate except pox virus. So again, another exception to the rule, but these are two rules you have to have down on test day. So finally, what I'll just say in summary is to know which are DNA versus RNA viruses, knowing these characteristics. I know it's a lot of memorization, but these are questions that you know them off the bat, they require little critical thinking to them, and they lead to higher points for you on test day. So great problem, great thing to take away from this. Go off and study your viruses. Thanks for joining me here today in Kaplan's USMLE Step 1 Q-Blast. Excited for you to study up and do well on test day, and I will see you guys next time.